Good evening. This is Gotta Craft by Kim. Kim is here. How's everybody? Just thought I'd come on for a few minutes. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate today is how to make a reef center. So here's one that I've done. Okay. And I'm going to do another one. But I'm showing you what I start off with. This is floral foam. I hope you can see that. And what I've done with that, since I couldn't find any smaller ones, I had to modify this large one. And I did it like that, if you can see. OK? So I cut it down so it could be a uh, like a, about the regular size of the one that I already did. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this three twisted rope and I'm going to wrap it around, starting in the center, and I'm going to wrap it all the way around. So let's get started. Let me bring it down to the table, the camera down to the table, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So all you need is a hot glue gun, some rope, and some floral foam. Okay? So you need your glue gun, a pair of scissors. And we're going to begin. So the first thing I do is I make a little hole directly in the center of the top with my scissors. Just a little hole because I want to insert the rope there. All right, add a little glue. I'm going to insert the rope. Hope you can see that. And then I'm just going to start wrapping it around. Like that. I need my fingers so I won't get the glue won't burn me, huh? It started. Let me get some fingers. These are fingers. And you get them from the dollar store. It helps protect your fingers from the glue. And we're just going to wrap it around as tight as possible. Let me get some of this glue off of here. All right, and we're not going to glue every little inch in the circle. We're not going to do that. We're just going to add some glue and wrap it around. Very tight. Can you see where I'm going with that? Yep, and I go around about twice before I add, go around in a circle about twice before I add some more glue. Making sure it's tight. See, I'm pulling the string. Just going to make sure it's tight. Don't 
doesn't take very long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to come back and when it's done. So I'm almost done. I came back so you can see the end part. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's try to finish this up. Can you see the outcome? We don't have much left, so we just want to spread the gorilla around. And we're going to add the string or the rope. And you can use any material. You could buy some beads. You can buy a, a, a string of um, fox pearls, whatever you like to use, and you would do the same thing, exactly. I'm going to continue to go all the way around until, excuse me, all you see is the bottom of the floral foam. And I like to push it down to make sure it's thick and it's connected. So these fingers protect your, your uh, the tips of the fingers, this pink, protect you from getting burned and it kind of like hardens and seals the, the glue, which is a good thing. But sometimes it can stick to the, the plastic, the hard plastic. So can you see me pushing it up against the last row or the previous row? You don't want to see any green. As little as possible. We need a couple more little rolls. Pretty big roll, huh? And you can find that at uh, all your major craft stores. Don't have much left. I'm going to put a little bit here. Just to cover that little piece. So when it goes in to the center of the, your reef, you won't see any of it, any of this, the foam. All right, we want to cut that right here. And we're going to seal it. Just going to push that down right there. Kind of seal it all in with a little bit of glue. And there you have it, your center. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some sprinkles, some glitter to this particular one. I'm making it for a center of a reef I'm going to make. So what I'm going to do, and this is going to be actually interesting, going to use sorry I'm going to use some Mod Podge and I am going to use a brush and go all over it with the Mod Podge like so just very lightly and I'm going to use sprinkle some glitter on top now with the one I showed you earlier these are corsage pins. Let me show you. Let me pull one out. See? And I just put it in and made a little decoration around it. Nothing overwhelming, just something nice for a center. All right?
let's put that one to the side so we're going to let this dry for a few minutes before I apply the Mod Podge I'm going to pause and I'll be back okay I'm back so I, I got these three little tin pans for a dollar from the Dollar Tree so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit the center inside and I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to paint the rope. Sorry. It's really sticky. Got it. So I'm just going to stick the brush in and give it a fairly good coating. You see that it's clear? And this one has a, a little bit of sparkle in it as well. If you can see, can you see it sparkling? And you can just leave it as is. If you like. But I'm gonna continue to go around. It's a great idea just to leave it as is. So when it dries, it dries clear and all you'll see is the sparkles. Gotta make sure you give it a good coating. Yep, because you want your glitter that you're going to add to really show up. So that is really good looking. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see how it's glittering. But when this dries, it's going to be just glittery. Because again, Mod Podge dries clear. And this is the Mod Podge Sparkle. So if you just want to use that, you can. But I'm going to add this glitter. It has a little silver. And I got it from Wildflower Glitter Company. Great mixture. They do custom mixes as well. And the reason I'm using the pan is because... I can save, I won't waste any glitter. How about that? All right. So let's take this top off. And we're going to shake it on. And let's see how it sticks. Okay. Close this up. Make sure it's tight shake it a little bit. I don't want my Mod Podge to dry. So let's do it and make sure it's not drying on us. I, I, and you should wear gloves. I'm just apt to not wearing gloves for a lot of things. Alright. So let's open this up and see if this is going to stick good. So we're just going to shake it on all over hopefully we won't lose a lot and it doesn't have to be heavy beautiful doesn't have to be heavy as you can see all right so I'm saving my glitter as you see, I'm shaking it over the pan. So whatever falls in the pan, I can save. Right? Make sure I get everywhere. Look at that beautiful right and I would give it a 24 hour uh oh a 24 hour drying time because of the rope and I think that is enough what you guys think 
And see, I have some in the pan. And we're just going to let it sit and dry. And that's it. Yep. So thank you for watching. Really quick and simple and easy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Got a craft by Kim. And this is Kim. Come up to me. Yep, so it's Got a Craft by Kim. And it's Kim. So join my Facebook group at Got a Craft by Kim on Facebook. Welcome. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching.